You know, I'll admit it, I'm obsessed with fractals. I don't care if you know. And today I want to make another fractal, but it's a bit different. Imagine that you have a line. Do you have that in your head? Good. Now we're going to make a copy of it and rotate it by 90 degrees so it's an L. I'm going to take that and rotate that by 90 degrees. And take that and rotate that by 90 degrees. And at this point you get the drill. And we can do even a bit better because I can make this unraveling animation, which I don't think I've seen on the internet before. First and most important thing, I'm using Blender 4.0. If you're not using it, you might not have some of the nodes that you need for this process. So the first thing we have to do is we have to make the line segment, and I'm going to do this with the curve line. We take the position and modify it by a vector rotate, except we need to know where the rotation center is. So with this curve, I'm going to set the factor to one. In other words, I want to extract the position when we are at the end point, take the position, make it the center, and you're going to see now when I rotate it, it kind of looks like a hinge. And if I take this and turn it into a mesh, which I will explain in a second, you can see that this actually has four vertices instead of one, two, three, because it has two overlapping vertices. Endpoint selection node. This will isolate only the first and last point of the curve, which here doesn't make sense because it's a line. I'm going to capture this attribute because we need to send it into mesh information. Now we are gonna go back to curve. So mesh to curve. I'm gonna hit control G and just like all of recursive repeated processes, we just take it and duplicate it. So you can imagine this was rotated by 90 degrees and again and again, but we're not schmucks. I'm not gonna copy this node over and over and over again. And the nice thing about this shortcut is the iterations are modular. So I can just increase this number which is much faster. So there you go, that is the dragon curve, but I promised a bit more in this tutorial. I promised a way to unravel this. Instead of rotating it by 90 degrees, imagine if we rotated it by a different number. Kinda looks super dope. If you wanna get this blend file and play around with it yourself, or even add more modifications, which you can, there's a link in the description for where you can get that on Patreon. Thank you to the patrons that are keeping this YouTube channel free, and maybe there'll be more fractal tutorials, who knows?